Today we are here at Toys R Us. ever get excited walking up to a store you see the colors you see the size of the building you're like you know you're 100% gonna leave with something from this place it's just a matter of time I get that feeling every time I walk through the whoosh of the sliding door it is a sweet feeling of course there's always the clearance baskets you have at the front some you know meaningless stuff for the most part occasionally you'll find a sweet find but you know, tend to typically walk past them. Today, I'm on a mission. I'm looking for an accessory for one of my figures. And I'm really excited about it. There are quite a few sections in this store that I do intend to skip. Um, you know, I'm taking you through areas that I would normally look at, like the pinata section. Who doesn't want to beat the shit out of a Batman, let's be honest, and possibly get candy at the same time? <laughs> And of course, Baby Yoda. I mean, can you imagine smashing that poor little bastard? Terrible. Oh, that's a really sad balloon. I love the scale of Toys R Us. When you walk in, you just feel like it's huge. Even Batman needs sunglasses. There's a few different sections I'm wanting to look at. One is the board game section. One is definitely the chocolate. <laughs> I'm kidding. I probably don't need, honestly, any more chocolate. Um, <laughs> but there are a locked-in area, which is really cool, that has a mixture of pops and figures and Lego and some of the more premium stuff, probably some of the more expensive stuff. Uh, so... I'm going to take you guys through that area pretty soon, um, and then we're going to go through the Lego, and then we're going to go through some of the miscellaneous figures that we can find, uh, and anything cool that we just kind of spot. So, you know, like this random fucking office piece. He just makes noise. He quotes the office. <laughs> Something they'll never see. They'll never see. That guy was absolutely convinced that that was the coolest thing in the store. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty cool. I don't know if any of my American friends uh, are able to get their hands on that legitimately. <laughs> but I kind of just laughed and was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Thanks for showing me. These are kind of neat. I don't think I've seen these before. So we're now behind that kind of locked in or scanned in area. The anti-theft area. One of my favorite things about coming to a place like Toys R Us is you never know what you're going to find. I mean, I don't even know what this is. I've never seen these before in my life. But if you've ever wanted to build a Taj Mahal miniature scale, boom, there you go. There's quite a few buildings. Statue of Liberty, that's cool. Okay, so these remind me of cross-stitching. I don't know if you guys know this. I do a lot of cross-stitching, and so... Uh, these don't give me too much uh, excitement, but I think for those of you who think it's cool art, it's a good it's a good find. I literally had no idea they made that set. That's interesting. Sonic is definitely a classic. I loved Sonic 2 as a kid. Classic. Friends. Good amount of Lego figures in that box. Holy cow. Also Seinfeld. I mean, you get the whole cast with that. It's a fucking nice set. Some trucks mopeds the question block that's amazing although i wouldn't want to display it in my house i don't think you need to have a really unique space for it i guess the friends dual set that's neat bonsai tree maybe shauna would like that one <coughs> oh here we go some disney figures goofy mickey sully Oh, they're stalking the heck out of that guy. Hoping for a hoping for a positive trial. Different music equipment, karaoke. Nobody wants to hear me sing karaoke, by the way. Nobody does. <laughs> so much stuff in this store. 
These are cool. We had one of these at a wedding recently, and made for a, a fun way to get you know guests involved. Does anybody have this? A pack machine? Or a Pac-Man machine? Arcade machine? That's that's cool. Guitars, random shit. Cool to just show you guys, but honestly would never buy any of this. This is interesting. A Zedla pillow. The Hillian Shield. Fucking love it. This is a unique way to show what games they have, I guess, without having them all on display. Kind of takes the tactile feel away of it, though I, I like seeing the physical copies, but it is what it is. I also think these are kind of cool. <laughs> Who doesn't want a stormtrooper holding their controller? <laughs> That's amazing. Love it. Calgary is my home city here right now, so. Lieutenant Commander Worf. They have not done you very good justice, good sir. Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's amazing. These figures are a little pricey, though, for kind of the quality you get. They look really cheap. I'm not gonna lie. The packaging gets me, though. The packaging looks so good. Just so classic. Planet of the Apes. That, that looks like a figure from the old days. That's cool. I'll give them credit on that. That that looks like an old school toy. If you gave that to me and said that came from like, what, the 60s, 70s? <laughs> I'd believe you. Shauna loves Halo. Not enough to get that though. The Mortal Kombat figures are actually pretty cool. I don't think I would I don't think I would add them to my collection, but I do like the look of them. And this thing freaks me out. Like, how fucking cool does that look? Once again, need to have a very specific collection or love The Witcher, but still. These baddies are wicked. Spawn. Very much a classic. I need to find a good spawn figure, actually. I wish 1-6 scale would make a spawn, but... It's getting my fingers crossed and hopes up, probably. Very, very cool. The Violator. Damn. He does look like a violator, I will say that. The Batman looks really cheap, but I kind of like it. Terrible to say? Possibly. Coraline. It's actually a great movie. It's a fucking terrifying doll, though. I would not put that in my house. <laughs> Shauna wouldn't come to the basement. I saw these the other day. I love the packaging on these guys. Once again, I just don't need them in my collection, but wow, they're a good price. And honestly, like how detailed that is, so good. Do any of you guys have this figure? Vernon. I always liked Vernon from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's one of my favorite characters, even though he's so it's an annoying. <laughs> Dracula pops. Very nice. I'm not a pops guy, so I'll probably pass through this section pretty quickly, but I do appreciate them. I like looking at them. I just don't collect them because it seems to me like an even slipperier slope than 1-6 scale, because they're just such a good price, so you can buy so many of them. really liked Squid Game. That's a cool, that's a cool pop, actually. That stands out. There's quite a few good ones, though. What kind of pop collections do you guys have? That's Spock, the Mirror Mirror, mirror episode of Spock. It keeps coming up. Exo 6 just made a figure of that 1-6 scale. Matrix. I didn't love the new Matrix movies, honestly. I hate to say it. I wanted to like it. Peacemaker, I liked a lot. That's actually a cool pop. That's one that I would, I would also consider.
Who doesn't want a gold little My Little Pony? Actually, the green one is probably my favorite of those. <laughs> Here we go. A few more figures. Xena Warrior Princess. Fuck yeah. Ninja Turtles. Power Rangers. Oh yeah. G.I. Joes. I love the packaging on these figures. I love them. These, to me, just bring me back to so many kids, like, kid Christmases. It's crazy. Frankenstein in there. Son of Frankenstein, I should say. The original It. Tim Curry. He just had his birthday recently. I think he's 76 now. Great actor. Data. Always will be one of my favorites of all time. And the Borg. You guys have heard me talk about the Borg. If you've heard any of my XO6 Star Trek rants so far, I love the Borg. There are a lot of good figures here. The price point on these is just a little too high, though. They look just a little bit too plasticky, a little too much like a toy. So I think I'll probably move on. Some arcade systems here. Again, nothing I would probably put in my own place. But if I was a kid and I got something like that at Christmas, I would have lost my shit. Again, just giving you guys a brief tour of, of everything. I'll stop on some of the stuff that I would actually like and consider myself more, but I want you guys to get the feel of the Toys R Us store again. Can't believe you don't have this in, in the States anymore. It's unfortunate. I'd love to see some of you guys take me through some stores down there that I can't get into. Among Us. I know that Collecting Weekly guys have, have joined a... a great bond together and in part to this game so very very cool if any of you guys are listening and you guys want me to take a look for anything there just let me know 100 percent the pop collection in here was pretty good i'll give it that i still kind of want to just find a mandalorian one but these were really cool too They're pops, but they look like... I can't read the packaging very well here. Give me a second. Yeah, they're like pins, essentially. That's cool. Oh, this guy's cool. I don't love the coloring, though. The green looks a little too lime. Babu Freak. Is it bad that... Every time I see something that looks like it's one six scale, I take a look at it, even if it's in the in the little girl section. That horse looks decent, I'm not gonna lie. But the right paint job. Anybody need a minion? They have a few. Now this is one of the bigger sections I'm excited for, the Lego section. They've got a lot of Jurassic Park Lego out now. And I know there is the new movie that's coming, so I guess that's probably why. I have over 300 Lego minifigures now. I collected a lot of sets back in the day before I started getting into 1-6 scale. I collected a lot of Lego. I honestly had to stop with Lego, because they just come out with so much good stuff all the time. That's similar to Pops, I think, for people, it is a little bit of a slippery slope. You can get so many cool things for not a crazy amount of money. But then some of the bigger sets are pretty expensive. So, I mean, again, it's a ranging hobby for sure. But I wanted to try and pick a lane. So, for me, I stick to mostly 1-6 scale and some of the kind of the 1-12th scale. But I still love me looking at some Lego, I tell you that. This Technic Batman vehicle is actually pretty sweet. I've never owned a Technic set though, so I'd, I'd want to know a little bit more about it before I bought one. They have quite the setup here of helmets. The Mandalorian one's pretty cool. I really like the Darth Vader one there. And that Boba Fett also stands out to me. Lots of different Star Wars Lego sets, guys. So if you're looking for any sets, just let me know. I can always take a look again here for you. I, I'm going to do some pretty quick passes. But if you're looking for any sets specifically, hit me up. Because I'm sure I can help you lock one in. A 
I really like the classic yellow Wolverine suit on that one piece there. That's nice. Jesus. See that damaged box there? You hate to see it. It's like bent in. The new Batman movie, honestly, is definitely in my top 10 movies of all time now, I think. I, I, I've i watched it a second time. I absolutely loved it. Same with Shang-Chi, though. I, not, not maybe top 10, but... I loved Shang-Chi way more than I expected I would. I had no idea anything about that character, and yeah, it was an amazing movie. I don't own any Lego that's Shang-Chi, unfortunately, but... You can tell how popular the Mandalorian and Grogu is, though. They're everywhere, and this is a really cool Lego set. I almost bought this immediately. The Dark Trooper attack, that's really, really cool. You know, you get the fucking Luke Skywalker with the green saber and the Dark Troopers. That's ah, so cool. Might come back for that one. I've also liked the increase in Super Mario Lego. Like, I know we saw some in the other section there. This is also pretty cool. I don't own any Super Mario Lego either, but I love the colors of the sets. Never really got into the Ninjago sites. It just wasn't for me. This is really freaking cool, though. The Charger. I owned a Dodge Challenger for a couple years and loved that car. Maybe I need to buy a small one. I mean, Shauna just got me to sell the last car, so I, I probably shouldn't buy too many more cars, even if they're only in Lego scale. Look at the box damage on this. You hate to see it. That is rough. Who's gonna buy that set now? Nobody. Give me a put a clearance sticker on it, I'll consider it. This is about the best we get though here, I find, for random bricks. You can go to the Lego store, but the Lego store isn't even as stock to me as as this section in Toys R Us, which is crazy. And the pick a brick section in the Lego store, not that great here. Zach was saying that he can go in, Zach from Collecting Weekly, he was saying that he can go in and kind of pick tons of different options. Here, terrible. Look at all the Harry Potter Lego though. If you guys are Harry Potter fans, these are some cool sets actually. Oh yeah, 20, what is that, 20, 20 years. Crazy. I like, you can get like all the cast. That is really cool. I love sets that come with a lot of figures, right? I mean, that's what I used to go for back when I would Lego hunt. I would try and find the, you know, the sets that had the figures because as much as I like building Lego, I love collecting the minifigures. Like to me, they're the nostalgia pieces of a Lego set and like you can get all of them in these sets, it's crazy. But you're paying still a decent amount. I mean, if you want to get a Hogwarts there, for example, like that's, that's a pretty penny for sure. I saw this on the way out and thought it was cool. <laughs> like a Luigi Mansion. <laughs> that is awesome. Again, love the colors, love the look of the figures. That's that's neat. And more Jurassic Park Lego. I think if you're a dinosaur fan and you're a Jurassic Park fan, Lego is honestly where it's at lately. Even the Lego video game for Jurassic Park was actually really fun, really well done. I love the Easter eggs in those Lego games. The store is just absolutely huge. Deadpool might look cute in that. Anybody need a stuffed Charizard? Do you guys remember these? Did you have those in your room in the, as a kid? The glow, the glow stickers that you, you know, the stars that you'd put on the ceiling and shine with a flashlight, and then you'd actually get excited to go to bed as a kid because you could just turn them on and or turn off the light and see all the all the stars. That was me, but I was a nerd. I also like Star Trek a lot, so what can I say? This Morbius is a sweet little figure. I'm trying to stay away from Marvel Legends because, again, they're still pretty pricey considering, and they have so many of them. 
but I love the look of them and I love the box art. I love the paint apps on them. I think the likeness on the characters is actually really good. Like that Jonah Jameson there, <laughs> like it looks, it looks like the actor so well. Even this, like the Infinity Saga, like that's a really cool set. And these are on the bottom shelf of this rack. I mean, if you weren't looking, you would walk right past it, which is a shame because these are some cool groups of figures. Two Captain Americas in one go, that's awesome. Again, just love the color of the boxes in this section just overall, it's so good. This figure caught my eye just a little bit. I like the hair on him, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and I like that it's one of those build a set, so like the more you get of these guys, it just builds another figure. I think that's, it's cool. And I mean, it's like crack for me, like in terms of a collector, it's like, ooh, you know, if I buy the one, I'm gonna have to buy them all. This She-Hulk is beautiful. I hope the color's coming through on the camera okay. The green was amazing. I love that this guy comes with a skull with a spine ripped out. It's fucking awesome. And look at the dog. It's better than Einstein was in the six-scale Marty figure. I had one of these as a kid. Had to show it. The A-Team Playmobil. Now, I've never owned any Playmobil myself. But I actually kind of think it's cool. Just like to see some of the sets anyways. This is amazing. It even had a Biff Tannen. Again, these are super cute. I wouldn't buy one. I, I do like Lego if I was going to get it. But like, I mean, like it even has guitar. Like the Guitar Marty. <laughs> That's awesome. Freaking Grogu is everywhere in this in this store, dudes. Not gonna lie, it's everywhere. That's a cool figure. I thought this was interesting too. Two Black Widows side by side. One to me doesn't look anything like ScarJo. The other actually looks like her quite a bit. I will give her that. Odin's son, very nice. We've recently seen an upscale to the one six scale figures of these guys. So it's kind of cool to see the small scales of them. Look at the posability on this guy that is just advertising. Like he's literally doing splits in the box. How fucking awesome is that? <laughs> yeah, that Odin is pretty cool. And this vulture is underrated. That I passed that just too fast. I apologize because it, it is so good. Modoc, nice. Love the color of the box art. Storm. That's a beauty figure. I like it comes with the second head sculpt too, that's really cool. Turning around, you see all the He-Man figures. I was a huge He-Man fan as a kid. I wouldn't say that nowadays I would watch the show necessarily like I don't it doesn't hold up for me as well as it does in my mind's eye but I love the figure packaging that these guys come with it really feels like the old school traditional packaging again which I think Toys R Us and a lot of the companies who you know stock these stores do that really really well this made me laugh it looks like you know they call it realistic fur but it looks like uh, suede in my dad's 1998 Cadillac Castle Grey Skull. Oh yeah. That is pretty sweet. I'm such a big kid at heart. If I had a space in the future that I could put something like that in, I would 100% buy it. You know you're a savage He-Man when you wear a loincloth made of that much fur. Battle Cat's pretty cool. Look at the splayed out look that He-Man is. Weird. Cool figure though. Get into some of the cheaper toys here. Obviously, these are just kind of whatever's, you know, they're in every store, but that's fine. Spider Man mask, cool. I like that Venom actually, it's kind of funky. You can tell younger, younger kid toys slightly here, but it's still kind of cool just seeing all the different scales and representations of your favorite characters, you know. Again, here are some of those other types of figures, like I mentioned earlier, where they, they feel like $40 for that. It's cool, but it feels a little on the expensive side. 
17 bucks for that storm is actually pretty good though. And I do like the Hercules and the Tiger. I do I do think that they're funky figures. The orange in person really pops. Which is kind of neat. Too bad they have so many duplicates of the same figures here though. I was hoping for a little bit more selection, but they don't have a ton. I really like that storm though. I may come back for this as well. That's cool. That's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. 20 bucks? That's worth it. This is more expensive of a figure than that storm. How does that even make any sense? Like, yeah, it's a retro figure. Who gives a shit? It's still cool, don't get me wrong, but they're like really small plastic molds. Not anywhere close to the storm. I was never huge into wrestling as a kid, but I had a ton of wrestling figures, which is cool. Uh, you know, and so anytime I see wrestling, it just makes me laugh. And the sl the slambulance? <laughs> That's amazing. I literally laughed out loud in the store, and this young lady looked at me like I was crazy. The slambulance. The collision cage. That sounds badass. Who didn't wear at least one WWE belt as a kid? Let's be honest. Now the Star Wars collection I found disappointingly small in this store. Like I mentioned in the parking lot, there are four Toys R Uses, so we're going to see them all. Does that Han look a little bit like he's going to flash somebody downtown? I think so. Lando Calrissian... All the same guys. Another Lando Clues in. Battle droids. It's a heavy battle droid, I should say. I like the coloration on it. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that, that Han Solo's jacket's way too big. He definitely looks like a street flasher. And as much as I like the Black Series toys here, I find, again, that it's always the same ones that are left on the shelf. Like... The best ones are always taken, and the whole limit of two per family is crap. Like, just stock more. I like this packaging. That's really cool. Jackson. That's a cool figure. And I really, really like that packaging. It's funny how collectors, eh, get into the packaging sometimes. Luke Skywalker. T to me, that looks like a cat. It's, it's not, I'm not even still really sure what that is. If any of you guys know, please tell me. Kind of looked like an orange cat. Once again though, very, very cool packaging. That K2SO is also really cool. In, in person, the paint apps on them look really, really nice. see any of the figures here that I would want. I was looking for more of the Bad Batch for Zack. Rekka. Tantive. That's a really nice display, actually. I like that. That's a really, really well done uh, just box in general and, and piece of piece of toys. Grogu everywhere. This guy's cool. I just recently recently reviewed my Shadow Trooper Hot Toys figure, so check that out. He doesn't have blue in him, though. He's only he's solidly black. But these are really, really cool. The Purge Trooper. I like the purple on that packaging. Now, the Ghostbusters play a very special place in my heart. This movie, Afterlife, Ghostbusters Afterlife, if you guys haven't seen it, I 100% recommend it. Normally, I don't like go backs to movies but i loved afterlife gozer that's a cool figure and they have all of them here this is amazing i like for me ghostbusters i loved it as a kid but i surprisingly i mean or unsurprisingly because i'm an emotional dude i i cried in afterlife i thought it was amazing the family that busts together yeah 
I don't get the appeal of the Power Rangers Lightning. I don't know much about them. I don't know why these Power Rangers come with turtle heads. I'd love to love to hear a little bit more about that. I'm probably showing my age here, guys, but I'm definitely a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan or nothing. Maybe Power Rangers Turbo from back in the day. I like the Cobra Kai Ninja Turtle. That's cool. And the one-to-one -one scale uh, Red Ranger helmet is actually quite nice. I was disappointed that they only had this figure of this Batman The Adventure Continues line because I've just recently uh, reviewed my Batman figure that I got last week and I was hoping to find maybe another one this week to add to the collection and they only had him. So I found that a little disappointing. But they did have a really good DC Multiverse selection here. They've got a couple Supermans. They've got Batwoman, of course, Polka Dot Man, which was a standout character in Suicide Squad 2. If you guys haven't given Suicide Squad 2 a chance, give it a chance. It was a way better movie than the first one. These are some really funky figures. I love Peacemaker. Ah, I know I said it earlier when I saw the pop, but I'm tempted to get that figure. I, I was really disappointed with, with the, you know, how they've done the six scale version. I feel like they did them a little dirty. Animated Flash is always going to play a place in my heart. Ezra Miller probably should buy that figure before they take him off the shelves and incarcerate him. Catwoman from the Batman film. And, ho and Hobo Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Very nice. Now, I thought this was interesting. They've got a couple of bat cycles here. This one's really neat. I would actually consider getting this one as just a bit of a hybrid to go with my animated Batman. Love this. For $30, that's amazing. $40, apologies. The Bat Cycle as well. Both cycles. I really, really like that. I've got the Batman sitting at home. That's a possible pickup. That would look really, really good on my shelf. This is really cool. Especially if you have this scale of figures. If you were really good with spray paint too, you could probably like turn that into something that looks really badass in a display. Look at all the Riddler figures they have. Like, Jesus. Like, holy cow. That is crazy. Why do they have so many? And here's another Bat Cycle. That's four styles of Bat Cycles that this Toys R Us has. Look at that thing. That is really cool. That is really cool. If you, Again, if you were good at painting a little bit, you could add a little bit more, like, coloration to the bone sculpting there. That's really cool. That's really cool. Superman is this. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Why is he so skinny? So many Riddlers. I actually like this Steppenwolf. I think this looks pretty cool. I wouldn't buy him because he just doesn't... I don't I don't have any of the Justice League figures or Zack Snyder verse in my collection, but I think it looks pretty cool. I really like this Deceased line that they're doing really interesting concept like deceased green lantern like that's terrifying like zombified very very cool this one also just caught my eye really like that batwoman getting into some of the nerf section here really quickly i just wanted to see this i always tease shauna and say that elfie if he keeps acting up i'm gonna get the like a nerf gun for him <laughs> so <laughs> you better watch out Rage quit. Sounds about right. And Jurassic Park. Very nice. I do really like that. What's his name? Timmy? Timmy! Timmy! Get in the car, bud! It's actually a really cool set, though. Oh my god. Seems amazing. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so look at the accessory he even comes. He even comes with his own computer and a severed arm. That's amazing. 
Once again, I would never actually buy these, but kind of cool toys. Space Jam. I haven't even seen the second movie yet. I heard the LeBron James kept getting his head stolen off a figure somewhere, and they had to change the packaging. Hilarious. And the Fugglers. Look at these guys. Oh my god. Shauna makes that face at me sometimes when she's not impressed on the left. Those are really fucking ugly. Fuggler is a great name. The store just goes on forever. Like, if I took you guys through every aisle, we'd be here for three hours. Again, just really looking at the things that I think are cool. You can use these for, you know, G.I. Joe's. If you are good with painting, you can make that look pretty cool. So many aisles. That's neat. Monster Truck, Ninja Turtles. Make a great combination. Remote control cars are getting pretty cool, I will give it that. This thing looks really sweet. I've always loved the Lamborghini. And the Bugatti, I mean, fuck yeah. Again, as a remote control car, if you got a street for it, I used to use, or I used to play with remote control cars as a kid. My dad used to get me monster trucks all the time. Very, very cool. I wonder whatever happened to those. You know how toys just, they just go missing from your life and you, you don't know whatever happened to them, you know? Clearly your parents put them in the garage sale or or they slowly got sold or broken over time, right? Yeah, but it's crazy to think about how many toys I had as a kid that it just kind of disappeared. Including things like board games, like we're quickly walking through here now. I mean, a lot of these games stand out to me as games I had as a kid that they've been able to bring back. You know, Jumanji, that's nice. I wish it was a wooden board, but it is what it is. It looked a little plasticky, but that's okay. I love all the different iterations of Monopoly that they always come out with. You know, the Winter Soldier Monopoly. Like, how, how does that even work, I wonder? The Mandalorian Monopoly. That is cool. But guys, it's time for checkout. And I did pick something up in the store, so I'm going to get to that out uh, at the end of this video. I, these caught my eye only because I'm a 1-6 scale collector and they're almost 1-6 scale. They just look a little plasticky. But let's get the heck out of here, guys. Oh, fuck yeah. That was awesome. I don't know about you guys, but... It's very rare that I get a chance to go into a toy store by myself with a little extra money in the bank and pick something cool up. So I'll uh, finish posting this video for you guys today so you can see it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you on the next toy tour slash toy hunt at the next Toys R Us. Thanks everybody. This is the Ben Thomas Show.